And welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. Last time we were here, we took care of the Orc Warlord with Goblin Teeth. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but we have four trophies now, and that was after I completely talked absolute garbage about our mime who just kind of ran the whole thing. Um, so, what do I know what I'm doing? <laughs> Alright, so anyway, we're going to continue on our merry little way here. We're going to go to None Shall Pass. Defeat a skeleton. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to need physical attributes for this, so we're going to take our... Take our physical attacker with very overt references in this particular dungeon. Now... I seem to have a little bit of a predicament here, so... Oh, does he have Fountain Hunter? He does. Oh god. <laughs> this may have been a poor choice. Oh, that's bad. Alright, we're gonna keep things easy. This might have been a mistake with the Fountain Hunter perk in there, but we'll make it work. Or we'll die trying. One or the other. Oh, this ain't good. Oi. Nothing I can do there. Oh, good. <laughs> He's gonna be stupid. That's helpful. Alright, what do we got? Definitely not taking you, because that got me killed the last time I used it. Alright, do that. Alright, now we're stupid. I need... I don't think I'm going to pull him off with this. Nope, I kind of thought so. He's going to head to the fountains. More attracted to that than anything else. So I believe stupidity 2... Three. No, stupidity plus two. Yeah, I just can't read, apparently. Okay. So I got stupidity plus two. Oi. Not a good thing. Hopefully it won't come into play. And, uh, alright. Good. Got away with that. I don't... Plus one starting size. That replaces those two. That gives me a whole lot of stuff. But. Oh, we'll just take the plus one starting hand. Yep, he's going to keep moving forward. So. I can't see what he's going to do. I probably won't be able to I'd divert him away. That would be a great one to actually. Oh. I can divert him away. Alright, well this will burn that fountain. Alright, luckily I know what some of these cards actually do because it gives me the name. I know, that's one damage. That's, I think, two physical, but he loses one. So I'll hit him with this. But now he's going to do more damage, but I should survive this. Oi. Barely, but I did. I could have just blocked, but eh, whatever. I'm going to go with that. Alright, now I'm level 3. I'm not going to concern myself with much else. Um, I don't think I'm going to pick that up after the battle. I can't really put this anywhere. I can put it there, but... I don't really want to gamble with uh, getting another stupid fountain. 
I know I'm not gonna have a chance to use the other fountain because that'll end the uh, end of the quest, but rather take him towards that and not get more stupid things happen to me. Oh boy. I have nothing to block it with. Unblockable. That's not helpful. I have a feeling I might die here. Alright, I can block this. He'll take one. Also, we'll just do it. Because I need to save myself here. Sweet. He takes one. I hit him for one, and Spikey does one more. Excellent. Yeah, that got a little dicey. Uh, we'll take you. No need to replace things if I don't need to. Alright. Let's finish this out. Sweet. Four and then plus two for brittle. Excellent. And we'll finish it out right here. I'm not sure if you understand. This used to be a peaceful land. Since your guild come along, everything has gone wrong. And I dread to know now what you've planned. I have to commend them for basically doing a lim limerick rhyme scheme in, in there. That was pretty good. All right. So the only thing I have left is our little talismans here, because uh, everything else is way too bloody expensive right now. Um, so let's see. Let's look at what we got here. So this gives me plus one loot choices for the first two fights. This gives me plus one physical, oh, first physical damage for the first two fights. This gives me plus one health for the first two. And this gives me plus one starting hand size for the first two. I almost always exclusively use this. Because that plus one health for the first two fights while I'm getting going is usually a, a big deal. I'm sure there are uses for the other ones, but like I said, I almost exclusively stick with that. Defeat a Minotaur. Alright. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Alright, there's a positive fountain. That's good. He's going to start in that dead end, I believe. Yep. So he's going to move just like I am. So it's going to work basically like the encounter with the Mimic. Where I'm going to need to basically stall him to get myself ready for the fight. Sweet. Hit him for one. Take a hit. And this will finish him off. Excellent. Flaming Poncho. Oh, I don't like that. Fire plus two. But that's stupidity. I mean, that's a decent... It's a decent trade-off. But I feel like that has more utility. Alright, so I need to get myself basically to level 4 before I have to fight uh, the Minotaur. I'll go ahead and take him on. No, no, why are you going that way, you idiot? Ugh. I did have something for you to do, was to go that way. It's to go up, not down. Okay, I might actually be able to avoid 
having to fight in the next couple turns. I drop a Mimic here, block his path. I don't want to put that out because I don't want to potentially divert him from where I want him to go. Now hopefully this wasn't a mistake. I should, let's see, unblockable attacks gain plus one, gain plus one health per damage blocked. Of course I can't block any of that right now. But he'll take some damage there. All right, well, I'll get health back at least. Unblockables get plus one, and that'll finish it off. Yeah, that claustrophobic trait, knowing that is a, is a great one. That is really handy. Plus one health, fire, plus two. Oh, this is tempting. I think I'm gonna need more physical defense here. So we'll go with that first. Now, unfortunately, I lost all those the two other fountains that I was working with. So we're gonna... No, I'm gonna have to fight him this turn. Because he's gonna come to me. And... I need to... He's got two spaces regardless, so I have to fight him this turn. Or this coming turn. Alright, we're gonna have to fight him to try to get level 4 before I fight the Minotaur here. Hopefully I didn't make a bad choice in who I'm fighting. Well, he's gonna take one damage either way. But here I get my health back. So I'll just take that. Oh, unblockables gain plus one. Alright, that'll do. Good thing I saved that. What's his brittle? Three plus damage. So yeah, I want that. Gain one. I'll hit him for two. That'll end it. Nice. Alright. Really don't want to replace anything. But that brace is going to be handy here. Because here's our fight. Yep. Alright. I feel like I want to hold on to that. I want to build my uh, hand size first. Excellent. Less than half health. Alright, it's a good thing I saved Repel. more valuable keeping a card in my hand or uh, getting health back I think it's more valuable he doesn't have magic attacks anyway so I'll, I'll take that it's not good that I'm all of a sudden drawing all single hit all right I can all right Whew. just enough <laughs> it's kind of real close Do you have any decency, I wonder? Like the Ivory League of Explorers. Instead you pillage and plunder and rip everything asunder. You're just a reckless bunch of marauders. Alright. That went well. We got one more to go. Defeat the Black Knight. Which again is totally not a reference. Mm. Eight turns. Okay, so I basically have time to do one or the other. 
I don't want to go straight up. So if I go one, two, four, five. Yeah, I won't have time to get to both. So I'm going to gamble and assume that I can get to the left one in time. And that's all I can do. Oh, blocks increased by one. Interesting. Does he have any cards that block? Take the paper crown. Is <laughs> Okay. Good. Well, I don't need to get to him. He'll come to me, so if even if I make this turn and head that way. Crap. Yeah, I need to fight something hopefully easier in there. But I need to fight stuff now. I'm not going to be able to hit him, so I might as well just negate the damage. Oh, of course. Unblockables gain one magic damage. I keep forgetting what that means. Or every time I draw that fountain of power, I keep forgetting what it actually does. Um, well, either I hit for two. Hopefully he doesn't kick the unblockable out of my hand. Good, he didn't. And we're gonna... Yeah, I'll gain one back. He's down to one. Alright, this is turning bad in a hurry. Okay. Whew. I'm just getting nervous there for a minute. Unless I can knock him down too. Alright, we'll fight the mummy. I gotta make sure I drop that before uh before the boss fight. Alright, let's do that. I probably should have used the two attack. Oh well, whatever. Oh, that's a good thing I saved that block. Oh, now he gets it back. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Nothing I can do there. Alright, well, it doesn't matter how I do it. Oh, and they're all, uh, I really don't want to replace what I have. That's unfortunate. Is, uh, uh, ouch. I really don't want to fight either of these. I'm going to try the scorpion. Can't take plus two. I can't take two or more. 
so I gotta block as much as I can. Oh, crap. Ugh. I'll save it. Interesting, but that'll work. Sweet, that's handy. I think that's what I'm going with here. Yeah, definitely taking that. Hmm. We're just gonna move to the treasure chest first. <laughs> that's. A little ridiculous. Alright, I don't lose anything taking that. Definitely lose a lot taking that. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to need more. Ah, but I might be able to hit him with uh, more magic attacks. Alright, let's see. Three turns. Do I have enough time? Oh good, and it's a positive fountain, so that's great. Three, two, one. Excellent. Alright. So that'll be our setup. Hopefully I get a weapon out of this. Oh, I need to, I need to fight a battle in the rune. put the room down so I might be able to get something in there before uh, I have to fight all right good and this is why it's really really good to always fight bandits in dead ends that first shot took off four out of five. Fake curse can't spend favor. Because attacks are quick. Plus one if they were already quick. Yeah, I don't want to... Mm, you know what? We're Since I can't do anything. We'll just do it. Alright, let's do it. Let's hope I am prepared. <sighs> I wish I had started with something that could block magic. Oh my. Sweet. Basically negate all that damage. That was awesome. Alright, I'll use this for now. That might not have been the best idea, but... I would like to try to get some distance in the damage race here. Man, he's using a lot more uh, magic attacks than I would have expected. Alright, good. He didn't throw out any of the, <laughs> the important card. Oh, he can't block it. <sighs> Alright, well, we're just going to put it up anyway. Plus one. Alright. 
Give me another card. And we'll just do that. That'll do it. Excellent. I suppose you've done fine for a little green rookie, but it's only a matter of time. Till you get your comeuppance, let's just say you've been lucky. But it's only a matter of time. Oh yeah, I'll embarrass myself yet, don't worry. We got his helmet. I'm hydrated. Plus two while fighting on a fountain tile. I wonder if that either replaces or... I mean, that would synergize pretty well with uh, Fountain Hunter, but I wonder if that replaced it since it's an advanced trait. Let's take a look real quick, because I'm curious. No, it's just at, it's an addition. And I'm assuming that means that I can't actually earn any more traits. Plus two on a fountain tile. Starts with fire, plus one. Positive fountains more likely. Okay. He's kind of our uh, our workers workhorse right now. 26 kills, 5 dungeon runs. But, we got a new trophy. Yeehaw. And, do we have more places to... Ex nope, not expand the guild. Nope, we have one more dungeon here in the grasslands. The Evil Lich. This sounds like it might be a good dungeon for the apprentice. But we'll find that out next time, so join me then, won't you?